Hi guys and welcome back to another mod installation tutorial video type thing. Anyway, what the hell are we going to be doing today? We're actually going to be learning how to install Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.8. And again, I'm creating this one because there's a load of just completely rubbish lying tutorials on YouTube again. Saying that, you know, they're saying, you know, this is how you install Shaders mod for 1.8 and really it's actually 1.7 and they don't even mention 1.8. This one is for 1.8. And this has actually come out brand new, so in the description there'll be this link to this incredibly long URL. But it's basically going to Shaders Mod, and it's updated by Carionix, who's freaking well good at this kind of stuff. Now it does say 1.7 here, but it is currently uh, for Minecraft 1.8, and it is in Alpha 2.4.1. So if you just click on this one, it'll take you down to here. There we go. So we've got this here, and then you've got Download Page 1. And what I might even do is put this in the description. Now, I've come up with this big ad fly thing. Don't click on anything here. Just wait until this goes to 5. It usually takes 5 seconds. And uh, this is just how the mod makers make money. And hopefully there's no noise on this part. What you need to do is click on skip ad. So click on that. What will happen? It will bring you to here. And you can see this is 3 days old. So I'm doing this pretty much straight after. As soon as I notice that there's shaders mod uh, for 1.8. I'm showing you guys how to actually install it. Press the download button as usual. Now, I think I've already downloaded it today, so it might add an extra zero on at the end or something. Yeah, it's got an extra one. So that'll download. I'm using Google Chrome here, so I've got on my desktop. There we go. I've got a little tutorial mods folder. I just, you know, keep this clean. Just copy that into here. Now, because I installed, uh, actually, obviously installed it earlier. I've just taken off the end. But this is what you should have. You should have it just on the end like that. First thing we need to do is we need to start up Minecraft 1.8 before doing any sort of mod stuff. So, yeah, make sure that you do that, and I'll show you how to make a new profile. I know that I did it on the Optifine one as well, uh, but there we go, you got Minecraft 1.8. I'm going to actually go into here, and if you do into Profile Editor anyway, you can actually do Delete. So, if you right-click here, do Delete Profile, yeah, delete that one. I'm going to go into here, we're going to do New Profile, and I'm going to just call this one Minecraft 1.8, and this is really important to do this. There you go, Game Version. Now, I have got this stupid frame rate thing in front of it is something to do with the recording um, and they got released there okay I've got shaders there but you just want 1.8 this part here is to do with RAM so I've got a beast of a machine I've got 64 gigs of RAM I've given mine 24 make sure that you give it say if you had 4 gigs of RAM only give your Minecraft 1 to 2 gigs of RAM 1 or 2 don't go above the halfway mark that's a general good rule uh, I've only gone to 24 I've got 64 so you know makes sense just do save we need to then start up Minecraft so here we go, let's start this up. And, oh, it just takes a little while to load. I'm not going to skip through this video at all. Because um, I know that people get annoyed with that. There we go, Minecraft 1.8. Uh, I'm actually just going to do... There we go, New World. Uh, MC 1.8 Test World. So this has got nothing on it. I'm just going to do also Creative. Create New World. Wait until it actually creates it, and I'm sure this is longer than it usually is, especially for the amount of RAM and power of my machine. It's taken ages, but I think that's just 1.8, and also I'm recording. So, and I actually appear eventually. There we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> finally appeared. Um, you also notice I'm running text track wise Conquest, and I've also got the 3D models. Um, so, I'll put links in the description to those two, so you can see here I'm actually in a jungle, and I haven't seen this yet. Uh, but no shaders, no shaders at all. No Optifine, none of that. Uh, now, Shaders mod doesn't up work with Optifine at the minute. But anyway, there you go, you can see that, and you can see that it's actually pretty laggy due to these, so I'm actually going to speed away. So if you press Control as well, you go a little bit faster. And I'm going to escape the jungle, hopefully, because it will lag like crazy uh, when I actually turn Shaders on. It might look cool, but... There we go, if we just pop over here. So, definitely no Shaders, there's nothing like that. Let's just close down Minecraft anyway. Close that all down, so make sure you're completely closed. I've only got a couple windows open. One of them I'm uploading the video to YouTube. Uh, the other I'm actually just got that download thing here. We're then going to double click on the shaders mod. And do yes. And do yeah. And then do yeah. Uh, it takes like seconds to install. Then relaunch Minecraft again. Let this stupid script do its thing, which nobody knows what this actually does. We just know it takes more time than the old one. Um, and then there you go. It said 1.8 shaders mod. So then if you just do edit on this. It's got 1.8 shaders mod. I'm pretty happy with that title to be honest. And you can see here. Use game version. It said 
There, shit is more. I still got this goddamn thing in front of it, so I always want to record. Um, so you can see I've got Optifine here. These two, there's no way to link them at the minute. You can't have Optifine and Shaders mod on at the same time. As soon as there is one, I'll do a tutorial on it for sure. Um, but anyway, make sure you're on Shaders mod. Now, if you click this part, it's got a load of random stuff here, and I think that's to do with the mods. But this part here is where we got RAM. So again, I'm going to change mine up to 24. Uh, so make sure that you do that if you if you want to change it. And let's just do play. And usually mods take a little bit more time. You'll see that this actually starts up. This is a bit weird. There's a little bit of script. Um, usually mods take a little bit longer. I've noticed with especially Optifine took ages. Actually, this is pretty quick. There you go. Let's do full screen. Let's go on to MC 1.8 test world. And we should have... Bam bam... Amazing shaders. Look at this. Look at this. 1.8. And there you go. You can prove it there. I'm going to get it in 20 frames a second. That's due to the 3D models. Um, it looks like crazy because of the grass and things. But it just looks beautiful. Look at it. Look at this with, with all the 3D models and things. And also shaders. That just looks so much nicer. Now, if you guys haven't done shaders before, if you go into options and do shaders, you'll have a shaders pack kind of folder. Um, and actually, if we just go here... And if we just do, for example, Zeus, it's like that. No, it's not. It's like this, shaders. And I'll put a link in the description again. Um, all you need to do is go onto this, have a look at the latest version. If you scroll down, Zeus is what I use. I think it's absolutely incredible. And uh, there you go. You can see 10.1. If we just go for, uh, I haven't actually got standard. I'm going to download standard. Again, you'll get an adfly link. This is just how they make money. Wait for these four seconds. Amazingly, I haven't got an advert this time. That's great. Um, there you go. Skip ad. And I do yes and download. So, after you've got that, now shader pack works kind of like a resource pack. So if you just drag that into the folder. There we go. Drop that one in there. It works exactly like a resource pack. After you've put that one in, it should appear. There we go. There it is. So if I just click on standard. Let's have a look at this. There we go. There's your shader pack loaded up. So there we go. Look, there's a little bunny. Shaders and a shadow. Hello, Mr. Bunny. But yeah, that's pretty much it for shaders. Um, I mean, it, it looks pretty incredible. I would definitely not go in a jungle with this, though. I mean, I've got a mega machine, and it will struggle. But there we go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. Uh, if you guys want any other tutorials on things like this, uh, feel free to give me a shout. But um, there you go. Look at all the 1.8 blocks. Like, andesite. That useless thing that was added. And stone. Why would they add that? Um, there is a couple of problems. Now, this this is an actual an, an alpha of shaders. So, you will get... I'm going to try and find... There we go. Down here, you will have these weird shadows like that. There we go. Uh, there. You get these weird lines. Uh, I think it's just... It's possibly because Zeus hasn't been able to code for this for 1.8 yet. Or there's a difference in the machine. Or it's how... However, the world actually loads now is slightly different uh, to how it used to load. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. There we go. Got some uh, cool leaves as well. Look at that. How all these? How look how awesome this now looks with shaders as well. So anyway, if there's a if there's a way to get uh, Optifine and shaders working together, I'll post a video for you guys. But that's pretty much it. You know, there's nothing more I can say about this. Super easy uh, install. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you guys want to see, make sure that you comment it in the comment section, which is uh, exactly what it's for, hence the name. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you on the next one.